Empowerment for Life har sat fokus på at mobilisere ungdommen. I Sabroba er der et godt eksempel på, hvordan engagerede unge har dannet deres eget ungdomsparlament. Mr. Speaker, I also want to plead that I go small Danish to welcome our Danish friends. So I will say it in the Danish. My Danish is not strong, but uh, <laughs> I will say that welcome to Sabuba Youth Parliament. Thank you very much. I, I think uh, my fellow minority, I think uh, you, are, you are not trying to be charitable at this point. You 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 are you are sounding in in in, in ways that we from the majority side do not understand you. But you are not being charitable enough to list or tell us the number of water sources or the different types of water sources we have in Sabah Township. And, yeah. and, and, so, yeah. and, and when we talk of youth empowerment, basically what we mean is to economically empower the youth, politically empower the youth, and socially empower the youth. One will ask, why do we have to empower young persons politically, economically, and socially? It is because up here in the northern region, young persons are faced with lots of challenges, uh, issues of uh, not being part of decision-making processes, issues of employment issues, inability to have easy access to employment. Basically, there is the need for an intervention from a CSO, like Youth Empowerment for Life, to intervene, to play our part in contributing to empowering um, the youth. Um, when we say politically, basically the program focuses on politically building young leaders to be able to take part in decision-making processes right from the community level, district level, regional, to the national level, even internationally. We mentor young persons to pursue leadership positions and roles that persist in the national, international arena. Tilbage til Ungdomsparlamentet. We also take the opportunity to welcome our friends in the gallery to the sitting of the parliament of today. As we begin proceedings, I want to remind members of a few of our standing orders, of some of the few interventions that you can make and other points that you can rise to make contributions to the house. Socially, um, we live in a, co a community where social networks are very important for us where we, we use the approach we call the youth center approach, where young persons have a common meeting place, where they can come and meet their colleagues, meet with other youth groups, interact, learn and share ideas, and then resolve common challenges that they all share a common interest in as a young person. Youth themselves are able to identify what the problem is. They are able to discuss what the uh, causes are, what are the solutions, and then they tax themselves to do it by themselves not just by waiting on people to come and resolve their problems. Mr. Speaker, when you look at the SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, Goal 6 talks about clean water and sanitation. Goal 6. Mr. Speaker, all plants, human beings and animals must have water to survive. If there was no water, there would be no life on Earth. And I can give clear examples of Saboba, Savilugu, um, Kumbungu, um, even the recently opened youth centers in Sav um, Salaga and then in Mion, where young persons are really using the youth center approach to resolve community issues. And then also in recent times, it has been very easy for young persons to interact with duty bearers, call duty bearers to order and demand for accountability in the work they are supposed to be doing to address youth development challenges at the community level. And um, this has moved us from the confrontational approach, demanding for their rights from duty bearers by confronting them and attacking them. Now it has become much more a dialogue process. Young persons know the right approaches to go through to engage a duty bearer without being confrontational. And I think it has paid off because we've been able to get significant um, results in, from this engagement with stakeholders. And we are hoping that next time, next time hopefully, we'll be sitting in Accra, we'll be sitting in Tokyo. Yeah. Yeah. Ungdomsparlamentet i Saboba er et godt eksempel på, hvordan Empowerment for Life og Jeffel har mobiliseret ungdommen i Nordgana.